Now, your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. Well, we were fortunate we didn't have any tornadoes last night or any severe weather per se, but we certainly had some really strong wind gusts. I wanted to update you though on the tornado count for the month of January. If we look at the entire state of Alabama, we've had 28 tornadoes so far to date. Back in 2022, January, only seven. The average is two. And if you were wondering, 28 is actually a record for the month of January in the state. And of course, we still have how many more days to go? This is a look right now at the actual tornado count that we see per month out of the year for the National Weather Service in Birmingham, 1950 to 2021 with the information here for us. And this is for the state as well. So now we're up to 150 for the month of January. And of course, if you have lived here long enough, you know that the spring typically brings more, but maybe you're new to the area. And I just want to let you know, we can see tornadoes all year round. We are in a part of the country where we can get those ingredients that are favorable for severe weather to develop, even in the cold season. Well, what we're looking at Fortunately, tonight is lighter winds and tomorrow morning lighter winds too. So kids at the bus stop can expect winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the northwest. It's going to be a cold start to the day too. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s out there, so they're going to need the heavier coats. Throughout the day, it's sun and clouds for us and winds that could gust up to 15 miles per hour, but nowhere near the 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts we had at times today. Cooler weather too, uh, 53 degree air temperatures actually closer to where it should be for this time of year. Here's a look at future cast as we head into Saturday. We will have some sunshine, although some of the data has been suggesting some clouds will build in as we head into Saturday evening, but I think the bulk of the rain will hold off until late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. And so if you do have plans, Saturday looks good. Sunday will be the wetter of the two the way it looks right now, and we'll continue with the chance for some scattered showers throughout the afternoon on Sunday. Maybe a little bit of this wrapper around moisture coming on into the area through Sunday evening. So we'll keep you posted. Rainfall forecast anywhere from about a quarter to a half an inch, though, for the entire area. And uh, perhaps you need to wash the car. I think today's a uh, tomorrow is a good day to do it Saturday as well. But rain does return on Sunday. We'll have a brief break actually on Monday. More rain, though, for Tuesday of next week. We actually carry rain into the forecast for Wednesday, too. We'll have to watch that Wednesday time frame because if the air turns just cold enough when we still have some moisture in place, we could actually have a little snow mixed in with some of that rain. So we'll be tracking that forecast carefully as we get a little bit later on into the week. In the meantime, temperatures over the weekend, not bad in the afternoon in the mid 50s.